x times e to the negative x is an algebraic function times a transcendental function. So this is a typical integral for which we would use integration by parts. To apply this formula, we generally want to select u so that it gets simpler when we differentiate it. And for dv, we want to pick something that we can integrate easily. So in this case, it works well to let u equal x and dv equal e to the negative x dx. Then, differentiating u, we get that du equals dx. And integrating dv, we get that v equals negative e to the negative x. Remember, the integral of e to the x is just e to the x, but in this case, we're integrating e to the negative x, which is why this negative pops out. You can take the derivative of this and check that it is e to the negative x. Now that we have our pieces, we can apply the integration by parts formula. We have u times v, so x times negative e to the negative x, seen there, minus the integral of v du, so minus the integral of v du. Now the integral of negative e to the negative x, that's straightforward. Let's just take that negative out, so we'll have a plus. So just doing a little bit of rewriting, we put that negative first and have negative x e to the negative x, and then we take this negative out of the integral and have plus the integral of e to the negative x. And we know the integral of e to the negative x is just negative e to the negative x. And thus we get our final answer. And there's one more look at the whole solution. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.